everyone, my name is Dawn Henderson and I am the Horticulture Program Coordinator with ISU Extension and Outreach for the Sioux, O'Brien, Lyon, and Osceola counties. And today I am going to show you how to make these beautiful porch planters, beautiful flower pots, all the way from the basics of the pot and the soil, how to choose your plants, and how to take care of it so it blooms beautifully all season. Stay tuned to learn more. Like I said, we are starting from the very, very basics, which means we're starting with our pot. Today I'm using just a very simple, standard, tan flower pot. It's plastic, it's 12 inches across, it's got some good drainage in the bottom. But if you don't have one of these lying around, you can use something as simple as a 5-gallon pail. Now, 5-gallon pails aren't typically very pretty, but that's okay because your flowers are going to be what's beautiful in it. The most important thing with your pot is to make sure it has drainage holes. And no cats. <laughs> Meet my cat Jack. He's a little bit of a mischief maker. But most important part of flower pots are the drainage holes in the bottom. So if you are going to use a 5-gallon pail, make sure you remove the cat ask for help and get some holes drilled in the bottom so the water has somewhere to go. If you do not have drainage holes in your pot then the water will have nowhere to go. It will sit in there and keep that soil super super wet and those roots will begin to rot, be overwatered, and eventually your plant will die. So it doesn't matter if you use an actual flower pot or a five gallon pail with holes drilled in the bottom. Just make sure the water has somewhere to go. Now I mentioned that this is a 12 inch pot. 12 to 14 inch pots can handle four to five plants. Today I'm going to be putting four plants in here because this one is a little bit smaller. You don't want to overcrowd those plants. You want to make sure that they have plenty of room to spread out and really grow throughout the season so that they can flourish and bloom beautifully for you. So we're only going to put four plants in here today. Make sure I give them plenty of breathing space, plenty of room. Starting with our basics, of course, we have our pot, but then the next step is what goes in the pot. It's our soil. Now, if you're going to take your five gallon pail, that works. Just don't go out to the garden and scoop a shovel full of your garden soil and put it in there to use. That, when you water it, it's going to get very, very compacted, very close together, and very, very muddy. Those roots aren't going to be able to get through it, they're not going to like it, and it'll hold a lot of excess water. So you'd be much, much better off using a compost mix or using a just regular potting soil from a local farm store, hardware store. You can choose the brand. It does not really matter. Just make sure you get good quality soil. Now when you fill it up, you fill it up loosely. As long as you have holes in the bottom of the pot, you can fill the entire thing up with soil. Just leave about an inch, inch and a half of space up at the top of the pot make sure it's not level that one gives us room to work and plant our actual flowers but it also gives the soil a place to go when you water it you don't want to water it and have all the soil just come rushing out over the top you want to leave that lip as kind of a dam for the whole pot to hold the water where it's supposed to be now that we have our basics our pot and our soil now we get to move on to the fun part, the creative part, our flowers. So you have tons of different textures and colors and sizes and leaves to choose from when you are planting your pot. But more important than all of that is the type of plants you get. So there are some plants that prefer full shade and some plants that prefer full sun. And there are some that kind of land in the middle and can go one way or the other. When you're picking out your plants, it's important to pick ones that go well together and the colors match very well, but it's more important to pick ones that are going to grow in the same conditions. All of the plants I have picked out today are sun-loving plants, so all of them need at least six to eight hours of sun a day. They can survive in part shade, but they much prefer full sun. So they all have the same needs requirements, so I can put them all in the same pot and have them all be happy. If you are wanting to put a porch pot somewhere where it's more shaded, there's more trees, you're going to want to pick uh, plants that are more tolerant of shade. Maybe they don't need to get that full six hours of sun. And there are some plants that don't really want much direct sunlight at all. The nice easy way to tell if a plant wants full sun or shade, they usually, they usually are labeled with a tag 
that says, this one right here at the top, has a lovely little decal that says it wants full sun. So this is the salvia we're using today. It wants full sun, it wants all of that light, just like the petunias and the alyssum that we're also using today. So now that you know what care all of the plants need, they all need the same level of sunlight, they all prefer the same level of moisture, now is the fun part. This is where you can get creative with the colors and the leaves and the different heights, and you can really make your pot your own. There are some guidelines when it comes to filling out a pot, and they start with the three different levels. So I talked about different heights just a little bit, just a second ago. The three different heights are known as the thriller, the filler, and the spiller. It's nice that they all rhyme, easy to remember. The thriller is the one that is very tall in the back. It draws your eyes to the pot and upward. It makes it very tall. It's just boom, look at me in the back. Your spiller, on the other hand, on the opposite side, is what's in the front of your pot. It's what's going to spill over the edge. It's going to cover up the lip of, lip of the pot. It typically doesn't get much taller than an inch or two, maybe three inches, and then it just goes over the edge of the pot. And then your filler, just like it sounds, it goes in between the thriller and the spiller and really rounds out the pot and makes it one big unit. So starting with our thriller for us today, I picked out this salvia. This salvia in particular is going to be a beautiful blue color. You can see it's got blooms started right there. And these flowers are actually going to grow straight up and out. And this plant will get anywhere from 18 to 24 inches tall. So this could be as tall as two feet. Meaning he is my thriller, like I said, and I want to put him in the back of my pot. It's really tempting to put your first plant in the pot right in the middle but you don't necessarily want to do that, especially with a smaller pot like we're working with today. You can see that I've put him more towards what's going to be the back of my pot. So when you're starting, especially with the thriller, you wanna put him at the back because it's going to be tall and if you put him at the front, it's going to block everything behind him, especially with something like a five gallon pail. So with this pot, it doesn't matter too much what's the front. But if I were to use this, I don't necessarily want these stickers as the front of my pot. So I would say this side's the front of my pot, so I want to put my thriller right here in my bucket and leave this space open for the spiller to come out and over that edge. Now that we have our thriller in here, I am going to start with my filler. I'm going to go down stair step. For our filler in this pot, I have these lovely, beautiful, red petunias. Now these petunias are going to get decently tall. They are going to get roughly between 12 to 18 inches tall. That is still smaller than this blue salvia. So they will fill out the pot but they will still be a stair step a little bit below. So I'm going to put two of my fillers in here because they aren't going to spread out near as much as the spiller will. So I'm going to put two of them in here, one on either side. You can see we've got our thriller and our fillers, and all that's left is this lovely little spot right up in the front for our spiller. And the spiller, like I said, that I'm going to use is called alyssum. And this is one that can survive in part sun, but it likes full sun, and so it works just fine with petunia and salvia. Now it looks really small right now. I'll show you these flowers. You can see those flowers, they're pretty tiny, and the plant itself is pretty small. But this is one that's going to spread out and really take over the edge of the pot. The whole plant isn't going to get any taller than three inches. So it'll only be about that tall, that high off our pot, while the other, other plants are here and here. Really rounding out and bringing it all together. So there you go. You can see I've got my lovely blue salvia in the back, my beautiful red petunias for fillers, and my lovely little white alyssum in the front. So I've got a red, white, and blue porch planter. So there we have it. If you have any questions on selecting plants for your porch pots, what kind of pot you can use, how to water it, do not hesitate to ask. No questions or dumb questions. Be more than happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, happy planting. Thank you.